Now we'll take a quick look at styling some of the elements of the upload button, including the circle to signify that a image is actually uploading. And you can find a load more about this over on the documentation. If you just head over and go under the cookbook section under visual tweaks, and you can find out how to do this here. So let's start with the button color. So if we go ahead and just inspect this element, we can find pretty much everything we need in here that we can actually style. So for example, the actual button itself, how do we do this? Well, here you can see that this has selected the button and we have a couple of classes on here. And the one that we want to style is upload care widget button open. So if we just go ahead and grab this class, we're just gonna do the styling uh, at the top here just to make things a little simpler, but of course you'd want to do this in an external style sheet. We can literally just target this and then change things like the border, the background color, really whatever we want to do. So in our case, let's just go and set the background color to say a slate gray. Of course you can do whatever you want. So now you can see we have a different color. And of course you can just play around with this in the browser as well if you want to. This will inherit your site's font as well. So you can see at the moment it's just a really bad default browser font. Of course, whichever font you're pulling in for your body, this is gonna inherit from it. So there's a ton of things that we can do here as well. So what we can also do is style the drag and drop display. So you can see here that as I drag a file into my browser, we get this dropper file here. So how do we go ahead and style this? Well, if we just have a look just around here, you can see if we just search around, you'll find the drag and drop area. Now, of course, by default, this is a display of none. So we can just uncheck this and you can see here that we have the uh, drag and drop area. So this now makes it easy to just go ahead and style it. So what I'd recommend you do is just fiddle around with the styles. So for example, if you wanted say an all white background and you wanted the border to be solid, for example, uh, obviously that looks bad, but you get the picture. All you need to then do is grab the class name, pull it over into your style sheet and go ahead and start to modify it. So let's say we wanted the border width here to be three pixels instead of the default one pixel. Well, of course, now what's gonna happen is we have that new style in there. So it's all about kind of finding what you want to style and then just applying them styles. Okay, so we're gonna look at the circle now. When we drag a file over here, you can see that we get that kind of circle. And by default, it's just that kind of yellowy orange color. So what we want to do is style this circle. Again, how are we gonna do this without actually seeing it in the browser? Well, of course, if we just have a look in here, we have upload care widget circle canvas. Now, if we go ahead and look at this, you can see we have a color. That's that kind of uh, mustardy color I spoke about earlier. And we have a border color as well. So what does that actually mean? Well, of course, let's go ahead and uncheck this. You can see this circle here. Now the color here is the color of the fill. So the fill of this, I think we could probably and the border color is the background. Now, that might seem a little bit weird, but this is just the way the elements rendered to make uh, it a lot easier. So all we really need to do then is just grab this. We don't need the canvas part on here. What we can now do though is grab the color so we can change the color. So in this case, let's go for white. And then let's say, well, we want the border color here to be black. So we're gonna have a white uh, fill on a black background. So now when I go ahead and upload this, you can see we get a completely different effect. So really straightforward. It's so easy to style this kind of stuff. And like I said, there is a section in the manual for visual tweaks. So you can go ahead and check out how to do this. And it gives you a few examples as well, as well as things like an image preview when you upload and you've got the CSS here, the JavaScript and the HTML sample here, as well as the result. Okay, so that pretty much covers it for styling. The more interesting thing that we wanna take a look at is the content delivery network, which we've already touched on, but we're gonna look at some of the options that we can pass through to the URL in order to do things like resize, scale, 
to change the quality as well. And we're also going to look at what we use on Code Course to resize an avatar that's been uploaded. So let's jump over to there and take a look at how we do that. 